In this video, I'm going to show you how you can track your iPhone when it has been switched off or wiped. Now, this only works for the iPhone 11 and upwards, so if you're using the iPhone X and below, skip this video, come back when you've upgraded. <laughs> now, before I show you how you can track your iPhone when it has been switched off or when the data has been wiped out, you need to know how to secure your iPhone. Now, to do this, please stay with me here. This is for people that are new to the iPhone. Make sure you register your iPhone to your Apple ID, then turn on Find My iPhone. Also, make sure Share My Location is turned on. Go to the settings, search for Location, and turn on Location Services. Scroll down, tap on System Services, and make sure Find My iPhone is ticked. This is important because turning on all the services will enable you to track your iPhone. Now, before I show you how you can track your iPhone, it's important to make it hard for thieves to steal your iPhone. And to do this, you need to make sure the control center Center can't be accessed when your iPhone is locked. Go to settings, open face ID and passcode, scroll down and uncheck the control center. That way, the person that borrowed your iPhone won't be able to put it in aeroplane mode. Now, the next tip you must do in order to make your iPhone unstealable is to get an eSIM. This is important because that way the thief can't take out your SIM card and since your iPhone is locked, the eSIM can't be deleted. Now, the best they can do is switch off your iPhone and when it is switched off, you can still see every turn they take. Now, how can you track your iPhone? Well, it's actually simple. You will need to use the Find My application to do that and another Apple device that your iCloud account is connected to. So yeah, you need another Apple device that has the Find My application for this to work properly. That's Apple for you. They always want us to buy more of their devices so that we can be trapped in their ecosystem. You can, however, log into the Find My application using your browser on, let's say, an Android smartphone. But as soon as the missing iPhone is turned off, you won't be able to see the live location anymore. So you have another iPhone and your main iPhone is missing. On the other iPhone or Apple device, open the Find My application. You're going to see a list of all your Apple devices. Tap on the missing iPhone and you'll be able to see the live location. On the map, if the missing iPhone screen is on like this, that means the iPhone is still on. But when it's switched off, it means the iPhone has been switched off. And as you can see, even when it is switched off, you can see the live location of that missing iPhone and it is accurate. That way you can track the person that borrowed your iPhone and hopefully retrieve it. So get an eSIM, get another Apple device, register your Apple device to your iCloud account and use the Find My application to track your missing iPhone. Now, I don't think there's an Android smartphone that can be tracked when the smartphone is off. That's a big win for Apple. So that's it for me. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful to someone out there. Hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. Valor Reviews, signing out.